Aries, hi my babies. How are my babies of the Zodiac? I hope you're okay. This just jumped out at me. We'll take a look here, the world in the reverse. Listen, it is Aries season. Happy birthday to all of my Aries babies. I love you guys so much. I hope it is wonderful and abundant for all of you. I don't know about you and maybe it's because I'm recording this like just before the new moon that's happening in your sign as well but my Aries rising full effect <laughs> sassy as hell I am I have a Libra moon right you can fast forward 30 seconds if you don't want to hear this but I have like a Libra moon that I'm really trying to like rely on right now to balance me out because I am just sassy like I don't have patience for it you know I'm a life coach my job is to embody the empress energy right and meet people where they are and I'm just like oh I really just want to tell this person how it is right now so wish me luck for your reading we've been warned okay <laughs> if you stick around if you're brave enough and it resonates feel free to let me know please i also want to pick a bone with youtube because they haven't been promoting my videos and excuse me i deserve it so if it resonates leave feedback <laughs> comment down below subscribe um yeah, make sure I check the playlist for the weekly readings I do, and let's see what's going on with you guys. So, some of you may have Capricorn in your chart, maybe you're dealing with one, maybe we're just breaking free of some toxicity. This is the underlying energy here, okay? The energy of this entire month um, is detachment, okay, of what's not serving us, what has been holding us back. I just like, it's bricks, right? It's an anchor, okay? It's been in your shadow and it's exposed, okay? Um, I'm getting that this already happened for sure. I see in the past there was a leap of faith. So it's just continuing that. It's continuing your journey, right? Um, yeah, we'll see what comes up for that. You guys are showing up as the Knave of Cups, okay? Beautiful Page of Cups in the traditional tarot. An offer of love, okay? Some of you... Um, Maybe communicating or putting yourself out there in situations that you're not normally comfortable or confident in. Um, you may be receiving communication, okay? The Knave of Cups is a unique energy because it's um, you need to take advantage of it now, right? There's It pops out of nowhere, but there's a time limit to take advantage to this. So I see you guys going after something that maybe you've been either procrastinating, okay, which would make sense with this devil energy. Procrastination is devil energy. Um, your challenge is the king of pentacles. So embodying, okay, your inner strength, what you learn, the lessons, relying on that. Maybe taking those bricks that have been your anchor and using them to build yourself a solid foundation here, okay? Your focus is the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Your idea of happiness, of what will fulfill you, this came up in who else? Uh, your cousin Leo, I believe it was. It was just like your idea of fulfillment that has transformed or is actively transforming, okay? It could have been um, a certain number in the bank, right? For security, okay? That would be devil energy. Um, attachments to relationships, people, situations, really any kind. We'll clarify. Again, in the recent past, a leap of faith, a new chapter, okay? Putting yourself out there. Your strength position is interesting here. I don't think I saw that yet. Queen of Cups in the reverse, okay? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. You recognize your codependence or how you've held yourself back from it's like you're coming from this heart space. You always have Aries, okay? But there could have been, um, again, either attachments. I'm even going to go as far as like manipulation, okay? For things to work out how you needed them. It could have been choices we made in survival mode. And it's because of love, right? And we told ourselves for a long time, I love this, I need this, right? But that need is when it became toxic. You are highly aware of this right now. Okay. Hmm. Let's clarify before we go forward, okay? I feel like this reading is going to be kind of split. Mm hmm. 
we're filling your cup exactly the ace of cups lots of emotion i like that i like to see that in your reading okay uh knave of cups please for aries for april there's your strength position we are adapting okay to either some of you could be newly single for like the first time in a long time um some of you may be used to being in relationships or used to if it's not relationships it's even like seeking validation from others you know like it could just be like advice from your friends like hey what do you think about me doing this or what do you think about this or um even oversharing about I'm getting love life or just emotional issues there's something here where you're learning okay it's slow and you're adapting here but that's the kind of the formula to longevity okay to sustain this there's some type of offer in a past rejection that you're learning about and why there was rejection why it didn't work out how you could have been again codependent or attached mm-hmm three of pentacles in the reverse it was a distraction you could be learning okay or communicating um or currently in a situation possibly for some of you that there's always been this block for you like when you were in love there was no focus on anything else right so even again it was coming from a beautiful place it became devil energy because there was no growth. There was no Aries. It became about this other energy. Does that make sense? Okay. If it's not love, it could be work as well, right? You threw yourself into work to make room for love. Take it how it resonates, okay? Let's clarify. Interesting. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, you are gaining this new perspective or understanding or you're doing things differently now than you have in the past, very mindfully, very self-aware, okay, beautiful, you're making beautiful moves like that, yeah, spirit wants that to stay out, you got it, no problem, okay, so your challenge being the king of pentacles, this is going to evolve you doing things differently, right, um, I mentioned this in a couple readings, the definition of insanity is repeating the same thing, expecting different results, okay, so if you want things to look differently, yes, that's going to require new action, new habits, new routines, okay, maybe new hobbies, yep, six of swords, we have to move away from the old ways of living, from our old attachments, from our old patterns, wow, the Hierophant in the reverse, Taurus energy, King of Cups, we are not seeking commitment in anyone else, we are on our own little, I want to say island, but it's stable, and I don't know, this island has like electricity, and it's like luxurious, okay, and we did it, we know exactly how we feel. We do not have, it's even better than that. We don't feel the need. Not only we don't have to, we don't feel the need. This is coming from within, okay? The challenge here. To seek outside of ourselves to feel fulfilled, whatever that means to you. It is coming in strongly as commitment, okay? But that can be commitment to anything okay so what you have attached to what you've devoted yourself what you've always longed for in the past as a sense of security or stability transforming for you right now and we see that in your focus with the ten of pentacles in the reverse um you're definitely looking at something that's really upsetting it didn't work out for you okay i don't want to um skim over that okay i don't want to sugarcoat that Knight of Wands in the reverse, and wow, the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Wands, I always call that like the horny guy, you know, because he's just thinking with a Z, okay? Gender not specific. The Knight of Wands is very impulsive. The Knight of Wands is going to do what feels amazing in that moment, okay? I feel like the Knight of Wands has addiction in their family. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you realize that you... I'm telling you, this is, again, survival mode, right? It's like I clung to this in survival mode because it was all I ever knew. Because, and give yourself some compassion and empathy, right? You had to go through this. You did need that at some point, right? You were able to evolve into the, per into the person that you are today because of where you have been, okay? Past experiences, past um, situations or relationships, right? But now, again, your idea of happiness 
okay, is transforming and what that means. And you're really, truly doing the work, okay, to figure out how. You don't have all the answers now and that's okay, but you're truly trying to invest in and figure out how it can come from you, right? That can never be taken from you no matter what happens to you in life. Um, I would like to say that about wisdom, right? Knowledge, um, education, no matter where you go, nobody can take that from you, okay? That's what you can build on. So you have to ask yourself, what is your nine of pentacles? Because also, even though something didn't reach the status or hold um, the weight that you once gave it, right? You put something on a pedestal here, you're having more of like a reality check, or a viewpoint about this like for example if you always felt like you needed a relationship you're now understanding that that truly does just add to your life okay it doesn't make it um but the message i was trying to convey is not all is lost here there are either still things from the situation um that you can take with you or the relationship is still salvageable you may just want to change direction or it's just the lessons have been a part of your soul contract your soul purpose okay um and you can take those with you and use those bricks that have kind of been feeling like an anchor lately and holding you back and spread them out okay let's look at this leap of faith in the past i just want to peek in at this what direction were you heading I mean, I think this was your healing journey, if I'm reading this correctly. You guys have love coming towards you, just so you know, or some type of deep connection. As soon as you allow yourself to embrace this. Wow. Holy shit. The fool is being clarified by the world. Well, I'm going to have to do more than peek now. The fool is being clarified by the fool in the reverse. <laughs> Aries, Aquarius energy, uh, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, three of wands in the reverse. Yeah, you guys, your idea of what you wanted to do in life, where you were going, what life purpose was for you. This, If this is not the energy of blank slate, I don't know what it is. It's just, I went back to the drawing board. I'm not waiting for my happiness. I'm taking control. This is beautiful okay boss bitch shit okay i love it i love this um and again the fool in the reverse is just really solidifying you avoided this for a long time okay there have been multiple opportunities that have been presented to you on your journey where the universe said are you ready yet and you said mm -mm, not yet and that's okay that's okay because again you've gotten to this point but you sure were ready in the past, okay? Let's check in with this Queen of Cups in the reverse. I think it may have been hard for you guys to acknowledge some type of attachment um, or unhealthiness in some type of relationship that really meant a lot to you, you know? Um, mm -hmm. That shadow energy, there it is. I love that it's popping up in your strength, Aries. This is your season. I love you guys. Good for you. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, your idea of stability. You realize needing, right? Searching externally. It just kept bringing cracks. Six of Wands in reverse. Yeah, there was never going to be success with that. It takes true detachment, okay? We couldn't look the other way anymore. You guys are doing a great job with being... Um, very authentic with yourself on your shadow work, okay, regarding abandonment, codependency, attachments, maybe even a neglect and self-care, never putting yourself first, that back burner energy, okay? Now, let's talk about going forward because something changes up. You guys stop investing in something, you block somebody, you cut communication, switch up. Or like somebody, it's like, I stopped putting energy into this or I stopped looking for something. Some of you may have gone looking for information and gotten your own heart broken, but it was the confirmation that you needed. King of Wands. Yeah. Shit. Death. Yep. Scorpio energy. Yep, 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 yep. 
Yeah, it was a big crush to like our, I mean, not only our heart, but like our pride and our ego, because this is an energy of like, I would have bet on this. You know what I mean? I would have bet my last nickel that like this was real or this was solid. You know, this was healthy. This was good. Um, yeah, so a little stumble there. But again, this is a resurrection here. Okay, this was meant to teach you about your self-worth. Okay. And there's something here about um, continuing that, planting seeds. Like some of you were healers and meant to teach this lesson onwards. Or the person you were dealing with in this situation also had a very strong lesson to learn from it. Okay, take that how it resonates. Your advice is to really think about love. Be in your feels, okay? The Ten of Cups here, embrace what it is you want, what love means to you, okay? And I'm telling you, take the advice because I see what your next card is and this is why I said there's a deep, deep, deep connection coming towards you. A bond, an unbreakable bond, okay? That's either going to be like maybe even reborn, okay, for some of you. Wow. King of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Hold on, I want one more. Yep, Six of Cups in the reverse under the Ten of Cups. So in the past, there was a decision made to walk away from a soulmate connection because it was not fulfilling, even though you wanted it so bad. Why did this have to happen, okay? Where weren't you fulfilled? What was the missing gap? Okay, that's hard, right? But really be present with that, okay? Why were you frustrated, right? When did you feel neglected? When did you feel on the back burner, okay? These are the gaps that you need to make sure you close within yourself. Obviously, you provide to yourself, but also you communicate to any potential or current partners because... Oh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Shadow work. Okay, it's in your shadow. There's also like a deep intuitive knowing too. Okay, also, for those of you that are watching this early, the new moon may bring in a deep connection or clarity about love. What you don't see coming is this deep connection that I'm like hyping you up about. Okay, it's the three of cups. Um, I don't like to preach this in tarot because like I preach about making a home within ourselves and yes that's true but I'm picking up like home right away like and like safety like in this connection to be seen page of wands and the ten of wands in the re reverse it's so clear that you must release the burden okay A feeling okay there's something about like in the past you've like almost held back or worn a mask okay or had a wall up or something because you were trying to invest in the other person and figure out who they needed instead of just embodying who you are okay release that pressure of what they think just be what you are yeah this may be um developing on a connection that you're already in or for some of you from the past okay where there was a missed opportunity like some again this had to happen right there was purpose we had to grow and learn um yeah i don't know there's connection though interesting a message from your soul is the six of swords okay move on into calmer waters make this change okay Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, the Four of Wands, and the Seven of Cups in the reverse. You know where to go. You know where it's safe. That's really interesting. Intuitively, you know what to do. And something else about, like, it's not, like, a different path or a new path. Like, it's where you were heading. I think you're just being encouraged to not run away from this heaviness that you're being asked to look at, right? Because it's like you took the leap of faith in the past, and it, the divine is like, yes, good job, but there was a bump in it. And I think that triggered you, 
I think that scared you. I think um, your final like comfort item was taken away from you. You know, and you went, <gasps> mm-hmm. Let me check in with your potential outcome here being the King of Cups in the reverse really quick because we have the Queen of Cups in the reverse and the King of Cups in the reverse. So what's that about? Okay. Yeah. Be mindful. There's something confusing that's going to happen, okay? Um just really reflect on what you've learned, okay? Don't hermit away and isolate, okay? Reflect. And it's funny because I just got that message in a reading myself. Um, but the more you try to understand if you did the right thing or if you're going the right way, you cloud that judgment. You cloud your intuition, right? And then you're blocking your own manifestations. There's a huge message here where it's like, yes, you're still on the right path. It's okay that this one bump happened or this one thing was taken from you. It was like your, it was a layer shedding, you know? So be kind to yourself with that. I'm going to check in specifically with love for you guys for April. And then I'll do finances, okay? Like career, um, anything abundant wise. And then we'll pull some advice. Mm -hmm. There's a transformation and a very deep connection taking place, okay? This is what in what you didn't see coming, right? There is a transformation in the foundation of this connection taking place. Don't be afraid of that. Welcome it, you know? What's yours is yours. Queen of Cups, lots of love. Just remember, that's like um, the bridging energy in this relationship is love. Okay, we just want to make it a healthy love. We we see where the Queen of Cups is in reverse, right? The King of Cups in the reverse showed up as well. So this person might see where they're unhealthy as well. That's great. Do the work and claim the detachment version of this connection. Okay, because again, not all is lost. There's still a lot to be uh, harvested from this. Love, please, for April, for Aries, please, Spirit. Two of Wands. Think about what it is you want. Remember your advice, the Ten of Cups? That. <laughs> okay, again, something's changing, something's transforming. Whether you realize it or not, you are actively learning, growing, okay? discovering new things about your own soul and what you need possibly about your partner maybe who you were in the past what wasn't needed or what wasn't fulfilled okay just be present go with the flow right now oh manifestation exactly set your intentions for love my loves it's coming to you balanced you are setting yourself up for success okay i love that for you it's going to look differently than you thought, than you anticipated. Let go of how it was supposed to be, what it was supposed to look like, and accept it for what it is because it looks like it's something really fucking beautiful, okay? Finances, please, for Aries. King of Cups in the reverse. So that might be part of... Interesting. You guys may be balancing. It may have nothing to do with like connections. For some of you, you're just balancing your masculine and feminine energies. Um, being frustrated that you're not living out your purpose or connecting with those who are. There's stability coming. Okay. Yeah, look at this. The Empress just popped out. Okay. There's something very nurturing. I'm telling you, some of you are healers, but you have to do your own inner work. Right? Isn't that some of the best healer? I mean, that's how we all become healers. Let's be real. <laughs> We're not preaching because we read this in the book. Yeah, there's something about just align with your purpose. Let go of the expectations. And this is going to be hard for a lot of you. like Because you just may feel so lost on what that looks like, you know? Be mindful of your mental health regarding purpose because, again, there's something very beautiful coming towards you, okay? Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, but you've got to get out of that procrastination mode. Remember what I said earlier, procrastination is devil energy, okay? 
let go of how it was supposed to be. Same concept, okay? And just go do. Stop with the planning, planning, planning. Nothing has to be perfect, okay? Invest in yourself, invest in your well-being, and then just start, okay? Advice, please. King of Swords in the reverse and the Page of Cups. Wow. <laughs> it's really interesting, okay, because you guys showed up in the Page of Cups, remember? And I was like, there's some type of offer or something. This is saying, okay, the Divine says intuitively, you know, no, not yet. It's a big not yet. It's not a forever not yet. It's an April not yet justice in the reverse it's not time you don't trust yourself yet or you haven't planned accordingly for whatever this change or manifestation the intention the new path that you set out on okay like you can't rush this like something's still cooking you have to define what it is it's goals it's intention setting that's a huge part of your reading you guys okay set your intentions don't make knight of wands decisions i love that this was still right in front of me okay nothing impulsive nothing for feeling good in this moment if you want something to last take care of it okay that starts from within that starts with identifying where the gap is remember okay mm-hmm <laughs> There's still lessons to learn about detachment, about putting yourself first, about taking care of things, about some type of resentment you carry for not having some type of need fulfilled. That's your shadow work, Aries, okay? That's for you to work through. That's pretty heavy, okay? But spirit is just asking you, okay, to be mindful. Don't rush the come up, right? Especially if you want it to last, okay? But yeah, that's what I'm seeing for you. I hope it wasn't too painful. It looks like beauty is coming your way, okay? If you take the long route, right? Uh, yeah, so don't forget to like the video, comment down below, subscribe, uh, write in if you need a reading. Other than that, I think that's it. I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye.